in a recent taping of The Late Late Show with James Corden, which is terrible, by the way, um, Nancy Pelosi was interviewed, and she talked about what she does during quarantine in her mansion, and she sat in front of two $11,000 refrigerators apiece, and was bragging about all of the ice cream that she has and how it was just fully stocked. Now, this is a classic case of an out-of-touch Democrat not reading the room because currently people are struggling. They're scared. They don't know if they're ever going to financially recover from this economic crisis if they're able to survive COVID-19, if they get it. So, I mean, it's just, it's painfully out of touch. On top of that, it's cringeworthy, but nonetheless... Nancy Pelosi has no shame because regardless of what she does, members of the Democratic Party club who worship her will never stop worshiping her. I mean, you see Marcos Melitzas give her thousands of flowers. You see, you know, countless articles written about her, Yas queening her to death if she just tears up a piece of paper in front of Donald Trump. It, it's they're never going to change because they never have any negative reinforcement whatsoever, right? So it's out of touch. It's a bad look. And Republicans actually took that video and they turned it into probably one of the most effective attack ads I have ever seen. Now, I think that we all knew that going into 2020, Donald Trump was going to do exactly what he did in 2016. He's going to outflank the Democrat from the left on certain issues while still trying to prey on the fears of people with regard to xenophobia and whatnot. But where he manages to uh, capitalize on here are something that theoretically should be the Democratic Party's strengths, right? The working class. But watch this ad. Like, this ad could have been crafted by a progressive and you wouldn't have known the difference. Take a look. We turn now to that $350 billion fund to help small businesses and its workers get through the shutdown. It will be up to Congress to restock it. But Democrats blocking that move this morning. They asked for a quarter of a trillion dollars in 48 hours. I said, well, I don't, I don't think so. They objected and I congratulate the Senate Democrats. Speaker Pelosi, what are you gonna share with us from your home? Chocolate candy. Thousands have been forced to wait for hours at food banks all across the country. This is oh my chocolate, and then we have some other chocolate here. We just got to restock the ice cream. You don't want to eat up everything all at one time. I can't do it much longer. I'm trying so hard. We were, can we say, enjoying. Having to admit that, yeah, we're, we're starving, and I like it better than anything else. Taping this segment, there are 22 million people out of This work. specific program is about stopping job losses today. This is hurting people bad. Other people in our family go for some other flavors, but... Right now, it's survival move. You don't know where that next something else is going to come from. I don't know what I would have done if ice cream were not invented. I just wonder. <laughs> That was tweeted out by Donald Trump's campaign manager. That was a good ad. Objectively speaking, that was a good ad. In fact, probably one of the best ads I've ever seen. Look, it's fake. This is all political theater because Donald Trump isn't doing anything. Republicans aren't doing anything to improve the lives of Americans. This is a party of death and destruction. They're a capitalist cult and they don't care at all about getting food to Americans, fattening their wallets and paychecks. They don't care about that. But just the mere fact that they can correctly and objectively show you that Democrats also aren't fighting for you, that's an effective attack. Because uh, how do you respond to this if you're Nancy Pelosi? I mean, there's really no way to come away from this not looking out of touch. And it's because... She can't not look out of touch because she is out of touch. She's painfully out of touch. Now, after she went on James Corden's show, she had the nerve to put out this video asking people to give up their hard-earned cash to support her re-election campaign after she just rubbed her wealth in your face. Take a look. Republicans are making it absolutely clear they want to unseat me. I refuse to let them attack our values. Can I count on you to rush in $10 before midnight to help me fight back? Thank you. Now, keep in mind that she's lying here. 
Republicans don't want to defeat Nancy Pelosi. She doesn't have a Republican challenger. Her challenger is Shahid Buttar. So Republicans love Nancy Pelosi. They want her there in her seat as the face of the Democratic Party because using her as, you know, basically the poster child for Democratic Party elitism, it's working out really well. It's why they managed to lose a thousand seats in legislatures across the country while Obama was president because Democrats are out of touch and they refuse to change and even concede a little bit of ground to the populist left. I mean, this is so frustrating. She has the nerve, really, to ask people for money. Go ask your billionaire donors. Fund it yourself. Sell one of your refrigerators. Don't ask your constituents to help you defeat a left-wing challenger who actually cares about these issues, who wants to fight for the people, who, by the way, tweeted out a picture of his refrigerator, looks nothing like Nancy Pelosi's refrigerator. That's what I'd call a normal refrigerator. Like, at a time where people are applying for unemployment in record numbers, 20 plus million, I think we're at 22, flaunting your wealth, boasting about all the ice cream you have is not a good look, and you're basically handing an attack to Republicans, like the attack ad rights itself. I know that's a cliche, but it's true here. So if Trump runs this type of playbook heading into the general against Joe Biden, he's almost certainly going to win. Because Donald Trump doesn't care about Americans. But all he has to do, all Republicans have to do, is prove that Democrats don't care about Americans. And that's going to be easy to do. Now again, this is all political theater. Republicans don't actually want to improve the lives of Americans. They just want to enrich their donors. But just to highlight the flaws, which are undeniable in Nancy Pelosi and the Democratic Party and their elitism... I mean, what do you say about this? This is an effective ad. It is. So, you know, if Democrats truly care about winning, not all of them do, but if they actually want to win, ditch Nancy Pelosi, ditch Chuck Schumer immediately because leadership is making the entire party look as out of touch as they are. Like, they're basically the perfect representations of the Democratic Party in its current form. But if you actually want to beat Republicans and change America... These people are not looking out for you. So when a Republican runs an ad like this against Nancy Pelosi, it's true. And that should never be the case. A Republican should never, ever, in any circumstance, be able to outflank any Democrat from the left. I don't care if it's Nancy Pelosi. I don't care if it's AOC. I don't care if it's Joe Manchin. Anyone with a D in front of their name should never be outflanked from the left by someone with an R in front of their name because the Republican Party overall, is a far-right extremist party. So to cede them any ground whatsoever, to do things like this, it shows how incompetent of an opposition party, a so-called opposition party, the Democrats are. I mean, this is going to land. This is going to be effective, really effective.